significant damage to roads and properties from the aftermath of that relentless and torrential rain and flash flooding all across parts of El Paso County. Yeah, and the city of Fountain particularly hard hit. New size Maggie Bryan in studio following up on efforts to repair some of those badly damaged areas. Maggie? Yeah, Robin Diane, I spoke with leaders in Fountain today who are monitoring several damaged roadways roadways across the city, but in order to repair them, they need more money. They say the issue is something that may be in the hands of voters come November. The city of Fountain is patching up areas across the city that saw damage from flooding on Monday. Vanley Drive near I-25 was closed in two different areas after high waters flooded over the street. Peaceful Valley Road was also closed all day Monday because of flooding creek water. Juan Rodriguez says he and his family moved into their home on Peaceful Valley Road one week ago. Yeah, I love this place. He was one of many who could not make it to work because of the road closure. We, we have no more options to cross, so this is the only one. Neighbors in the area have discussed building a bridge over the road, which becomes a usual suspect for flooding during storms. Here, just about the city's water. deputy manager says that is a project they simply do not have the money for without the help from taxpayers. We get maintenance funding from the general fund, but nothing that would come close to building these capital improvements that we need. He says undergoing repairs of Vanley Drive and Peaceful Valley Road would come with a price tag of about $20 million. He says one of the only ways to fund that is for the city to join the Pikes Peak Rural Transportation Authority, or PPRTA, which uses 1% of sales tax to support larger repair projects. We really don't have the funding and we really don't have anything uh, on, the, on the planning board to be able to do other than to build bridges over these low water crossings. The deputy manager says city council voted months ago to move forward with a ballot initiative for voters to decide whether to join PPRTA in November. However, the PPRTA board must first agree before it's handed off to voters. The deputy city manager says the roads impacted by flooding this week would be a top priority for repairs if the city does join PPRTA. Diane. Maggie, thank you. Ten roads remain closed tonight in eastern El Paso County following yesterday's storms. Crews are working to make repairs after heavy rain, heavy rain and flooding. Check out this video we took today in Ellicott on the intersection of Jones and Log Roads. It's about 40 minutes east of the Springs. Water there, it's still covering the road. The culverts, the size of the roads, you see it, it's damaged. Repairs are also underway on Falcon Highway near Peyton Highway and Peyton Highway about a half mile south of County Line Road. We have a full list of closures on our website, koaa.com. And we see more late afternoon thunderstorms once again, bringing more rain and hail to the overly saturated ground all across Southern Colorado. Let's check in with our lead forecaster, Mike Daniels, to find out what's happening now. Rob and Diane, we've got a few splash and dash showers moving across parts of the viewing area. We're currently dry in Colorado Springs. A little action on Ute Pass from Cascade, Green Mountain Falls, all the way up into Woodland Park. This stuff rolling right down the pass, moving southeast at about 15 miles per hour. No light associated with that stuff. There's some ground truth right there. Yes, it is raining up in Woodland Park. 43 is the current temperature at 8,400 feet above sea level with that rain. Dry skies in Pueblo, a few mainly light showers in the foothills west of Pueblo, moving off to the southeast. Some pretty good rain, even a lightning strike across portions.